The auto scaling feature introduced in Cloud Manager Image 13 integrates with Oracle Data Science Services to build, train, and manage the machine learning model used to optimize scaling. Cloud Manager Image 14 continues to add additional functionality and control to automatically learn from past usage and dynamically respond to surges in compute resources, providing users smooth, reliable performance. The auto scaling feature enhancements include the ability to dynamically qualify capacity during scaling based on an increase in incoming HTTP traffic, intelligence to elastically scale up and down based on utilization, which will reduce cost, optimize scaling uptime, transparency on scaling decisions, and the ability to handle scaling on both public and private load balancers. Enhanced Data Collection calculates the number of nodes required based on incoming requests when an anomaly is detected. New data configuration added to Logstash collects the attributes from the OCI load balancer. Logstash also invokes OCI metric instrumentation to collect the incoming HTTP traffic and indexes it in Elasticsearch. The model will collect the OCI metrics and derive the active PS App Server processes. Expect three to four weeks to train the system for the typical production load. Machine learning will perform weekly data extraction to create the data models. Two models are created, the anomaly detection model and the Bayesian Ridge model. The accuracy of the models will continue to improve over time. To automatically scale up and down, you'll need to set up a policy. The policy type is event, and both scale up and scale down need to be configured. In the Policy Action Parameters pop-up, set the Scale Type to Auto Scale and the Nodes to Scale to Auto. There is a new field for Scale Limit. For a Scale Up policy, set this field to the maximum number of nodes that can be added. For a Scale Down policy, set this field to the minimum number of nodes that should remain on the environment. After the system is trained and policies for scale up and scale down are active, the system monitors in real time to detect anomalies, evaluate the load level, and predict the required scaling. When a positive anomaly is detected, the system will invoke the scale up policy, which indicates the maximum number of nodes to add. When the load decreases and a negative anomaly is detected, the scale down policy is invoked, which indicates the minimum number of nodes to retain. View the monitoring page for the environment to view the number of nodes for both public and private load balancers. This completes the Auto Scaling Enhancements description. When you create your own Virtual Cloud Network, or VCN, for use with Cloud Manager, you can take advantage of several networking services in Oracle Cloud Infrastructure to customize the network configuration. For example, instead of a single VCN, you can set up multiple VCNs. For the different VCNs to communicate, set up local peering gateways. You can create custom DNS zones and associate them with the VCN. DNS zones contain records that map host names to IP addresses. You can add custom records for a single VCN, for VCNs connected with peering, or for on-premises systems. Each zone is attached with a private DNS view. When a custom DNS zone has been attached to a VCN's private view, instances in the VCN can resolve the custom names. Set up custom endpoints to manage DNS queries. A listening endpoint monitors for DNS queries from other networks. A forwarding endpoint directs DNS queries from one VCN onto other networks. For information on using these features, see the Oracle Cloud Infrastructure documentation. This completes the Private and Custom Domain Name System Resolution Enhancement description. Cloud Manager Image 14 provides greater flexibility when it comes to cloning environments. In previous images, only the entire environment was able to be cloned, including all tiers. 
Now, with Image 14, you can select which tiers you want to clone for the new desired environment. So if you have multiple middle tiers in your running environment, you can select any or all of them to include in the new environment. This enables you to reduce OCI resources and cost while providing a right-sized clone for the users. Use the Select to Clone column to select which nodes to clone. Note that the database node is always required for the clone. You can also modify the shapes associated with nodes that are selected for fast cloning. This completes the Improved Cloning Process feature description. Cloud Manager now uses OAuth 2.0 as the default mechanism to authorize access to My Oracle support downloads. For example, when you download images and PeopleTools DPKs to the repository. When you configure Cloud Manager settings, OAuth 2.0 is set as the default authorization mechanism option. With OAuth 2.0, the Cloud Manager application is configured with the necessary authorization token for My Oracle Support MOS, as part of the installation. Using OAuth 2 does not change the way you log into Cloud Manager or provisioned environments, but is the recommended option for improved security. If your organization requires it, you can also choose Basic Auth. With Basic Auth, as in previous releases, your MOS user account credentials are used for authorization. This completes the additional security options for Download Manager Enhancement description. In Cloud Manager Image 14, enhancements to the automated PeopleTools upgrade process enables customers to optionally review compare reports. When you select to upgrade to PeopleTools 860, the Upgrade Template Settings button is active. The Upgrade Template Settings page displays the chapters that contain the configurable steps. When you expand the Preparing Your Database for Upgrade chapter, you can enable or disable the Running Initial Audit Reports task. Within this task, you can select which steps to run. If you select the step Reviewing the Initial Audits, the upgrade process will pause for you to review the reports before resuming the upgrade process. In the Applying People Tools chapter, you can enable the tasks for reviewing Select People Tools objects and reviewing additional People Tools objects. In the Completing Database Changes chapter, you can enable or disable the task for running the final audit reports. Select the steps in this task that you want to run. If you choose to review the final audits and People Tools functionality, manual stops are added in the template for review. After configuring the template, save the page and select Upgrade. The status column will show the current step that is running. If reports were selected, the upgrade job will pause. Click the status link. Select the PTU reports icon. The compare report page is displayed. Click on the report link. The reports are in zip format. You can select to open the report or save the zip file to a local drive. Unzip the downloaded file and view. For Compare Reports, select pscmpviewer.exe to open the Compare Report Viewer. After reviewing the reports, return to the Job Status page and resume the job. This completes the option to show Compare Reports during PeopleTools Upgrade feature description. Error handling improvements include the ability to filter errors. When you select to filter, only the failed steps are displayed. Click on the status icon to view the error. The Job Status Information page displays the failed step. The Provision Task Status page displays the errors. The Error Details now include error code details, as well as the errors fetched from logs. In this example, the Windows password did not meet the policy requirements. After fixing the error, you can retry the step. The system will validate the resource availability before infrastructure creation. 
If resources are not available, the Resource Availability Validation pop-up is displayed, which shows which resources are not available. You can choose to cancel the request. If you know that the resource is available, you can select to ignore and continue. The Provision Task Status page now only displays the last lifecycle operation. It also includes a filter errors toggle that provides easy navigation directly to the failure. Select the error icon to view the error. Error details page enhancements include a Cloud Manager error code for the failure and corresponding error message, a log directory of the failed task for the lifecycle operation, and a display of fetched errors in HTML tabular format for easy viewing and navigation. This completes the Improved Error Handling Enhancement description. We've only shown you the highlights of this Cloud Manager update. For more information and other enhancements, see the CFO tool, the image overview on My Oracle Support, and go to the PeopleSoft Information Portal for updates.